Okay, I'm going to be doing a demo on a glass dragon. I hope you enjoy it. Um, click like, click subscribe, give me requests, tell me what you like, what you don't like. Have a good one. Okay, yesterday, good afternoon, morning, evening, whenever. Yesterday, in one of my demos, I made, oops, stress happens with glass. I made some blue exotic. Um, rod and with this blue exotic rod i'm coming up with a really great idea that i thought anyway um i was going to do a dragon very similar to the dragon that's on my channel page a little smaller a little easier well not a little easier but a little smaller anyway okay first that's not it there we go this will do um now the dragon has several pieces to it you got to do the legs just like the lizards that you've seen me do the legs like um but actually you know no i won't dragon it is i'm just gonna make i'm gonna use a single flame because that'll cut down a little bit on the glare so you can see exactly a little better what's going on inside the flame. I see some of the, the problem with the image is the multiple flame. Now I sort of do a touch and a little bit further in like a quarter of an inch or whatever. Heat up and layer those two together well. And this is going to be the neck of your dragon heat and pull down well i used gravity with me i could pull up but it's a little easier to to let gravity work with you so that you can it'll eventually become up but down will work at the moment okay that's basically a shark fin a claw whatever you want to see there shark fin claw but that's the neck of my dragons okay <sighs> now an ice cream cone that's going to be the head and the nose of my dragon you say an ice cream cone but that's the basic shape that it becomes press in seal it up that's the uh, ice cream part of the ice cream cone right there. Make sure you're sealing it in well. And then you pull it out. And you got the ice cream cone effect going on there. I guess you could say it sort of looks like a gun holster too if you want to be shape-wise detailed about it. But Okay. Now, that's my basic horse head right now, too. With the dragons, I make the nose just a little longer. Okay. Okay. Now, a good contrasting color with this would be jade green. Or a blue. But jade green seems to jump out at me. It's not a contrasting color. It's a good complementary color. Now. Eyes. I'll do them first. One on one side of the head. And you can put that eye just about anywhere on the head that you want to put it. But the fun part is coming over to the other side of the head. And putting the other eye directly opposite it without being too far forward or back see it, it takes time and practice okay now these are select like fold and pull fan, fins over the eyes or the eyebrows or whatever you want to call it fold and pull a little bit and then the, uh, you know, there's like fans, uh, 
eyebrows, horns to the dragon, whatever you want to call it. Fold and pull until you get it the way you feel it's good. Pull it out. Next, the beard. Fold and pull. And I give it a little bit of a tuft at the bottom. My dragons, I love to sometimes leave it blank on the neck, and other times I put these little bumps. So like scales down the back of the dragon. It all depends on my mood and how I'm feeling at the time. But considering that the dragon in the picture on my channel page has these bumps, I'm going to put these bumps on it too. Now, time for a punte on the nose so that I can work the back half of this dragon. Make sure that the bumps are sealed in well. Now for the back half of the dragon. I'm going to give it a little bit of body there. Don't want it look, make, look like my dragon is really that anorexic, right? Right. A little bit more. Of course, I could have started with a little bit more glass on the body itself, but you want to press a little bit, play with it, you'll get there. Okay, getting there, getting there, getting there. Got enough. Now I can do some fold and pull with it also, but not the thinning it out. Ah. Cold welds are cold welds for a reason. Because you want it to come off, but sometimes it comes off a little bit before you want it to. Okay. Now I'm going to make the main body. Let it flow. I'd be doing this a little bit faster if I had left on the outer flame. But the single flame is going to do the job quite nicely. Keep pulling. Easing it out. And that'll do for now. Pick up the jade green for actually several things at the moment. Bumps down the back. Sixteen thousand things to do in five minutes to do it all in. Your best bet is to make sure that you go from one end to the other when you're working and don't go back. Right now I'm working in the middle still and I'll still have stuff to do in the back end so so we'll get there. Again make sure that these bumps that you're the scales that you're putting on are going to survive, I guess is the best word to put. I'm going to put a cold weld on the back here. This is 
we can get this to stand here. There we go. I'm going to do the legs. To the dragon. I love the color variations coming in on this thing. I'm going to tilt his head back a little. And I'm going to cheat. Work with double flame a little bit. Tilt his head back. There we go. Oops, nothing important. You heard that noise, but if you didn't hear the noise, nothing. Don't worry about it. As you can see, I love to feed my glass. Heat and feed helps you to flow the glass, helps you to Learn to shape. Helps you to draw from the rod that you're working with. Legs coming up. I love my dragons. He's looking good. I'm going to turn up the heat a little bit. There we go. Melt it a little faster, a little bit quicker. Don't be afraid to learn to adjust your flame. Work with it. You'll learn to work with your torch. Okay, now the back legs, I go back. Let it cool a little bit, heat it up at that bend, and pull forward. Boom. And it comes with practice. Wasn't overnight. There's always an angle to get into the flame. Yes, you can have a, a, a micro, uh, you can have a hand torch beside your torch to help you make sure that your welds are really well and, uh, doing the right angles and sealing it in really really good you just got to learn your angles now that's where geometry comes in i guess heat it pull it back bend it let it cool for a little bit heat a little bit further forward and pull it out there we go Tripods, as you can see, I've got three legs on the ground at this point. Tripods are your best bet. You can try to get four legs on the ground and, and get them all straight and, and do what you want it to do. Or tripod works. Okay. Cold weld on the nose again. I'm going to stretch out the body just a little bit. Put some wings on this sucker. There we go. Just a little. There we are. I love it when the glass flows so well. It comes the time. Now the wings. I was going to do the cold one. Okay. Wings. Here we go. Fold and pull. Seal it in well. Pull out. Fold over. Pull out. Fold over. Keeping all the glass if you want to be pliable, still warm. 
and adding to it at the same time. It's fun. But as you can see, it definitely comes out with good results. Being laid it in well. Pull out, pulled over, pull out, pulled over. Got enough. Let it flow in the right direction that you want it to pull. Love my dragon. And this is going to be a longer one because dragons are that way. Claws. And I'm not talking Santa. On my lizards, I usually do two. My dragons, I use three. And yes, again, you could put as many as you like. If you wanted a six-toed dragon, you could come up with a six-toed dragon. But with a dragon, I guess you need the talons to grab onto something and shake them and say, what are you trying to do to me? No. Never mind. Okay. A few more toes to go. Getting there. It's fun to learn how to aim where you want to put the glass and not melt everything along with it. But it's all capable, all, I guess you could say doable. Let's just put it that way. Okay. This is what I call, a, so like a, a Annealing a little bit at the at the torch, but it also helps you to look it over. Make sure it's doing well. I'm going to put a cold well in his nose for a little bit and finish off the tail. Then we got one dragon. Oh yeah, turn it down just a little bit. And we're almost there. I know this is getting a little long. There be dragon. I think that's what I'll name the title of this one. What do you think? Now I've done a lot of dragon tail. Some I'm, I'd put like an arrow point, and sometimes I do the fork tail. And lately I've been doing the fork tail, so. If you're doing a fad, keep with it. Okay. Learning to flow the glass without distorting the image that you're working on is the fun part. Practice, practice, and oh, by the way, a lot and a lot. Okay, now I'm going to put a nice little curlicue twirl, twirl on the on the tail. Like he's just sort of flipping it around at a fly or something. There we go. Check it over one more last time. Other than that,
this be one done dragon. Fire polish his nose where I have the cold weld. Where should I go? Oh. Thanks for watching. Enjoy your day. Here is the dragon that I did. The demo. The reason I'm using the tweezers is it's still hot. Thanks for watching.